T minus 15 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, zero. The liftoff of the Atlas V, launching the first interplanetary mission from the West Coast. And NASA's InSight, the first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. continues to look good at this point in the mission. Objective pressures, pump speeds, expected regions, extra ratio, controlling within expected parameters. The RD-180 engine providing 860,000 pounds of thrust. Physical body rates continue to look good. All booster systems look nominal at this point. Mach 1. The rocket is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Coming up, max the rocket Q. will enter max Q. This is the point where mechanical stress in the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by Earth's atmosphere. Coming up on the throttle down. Extra has throttled back right on schedule. Signatures look good. Pump speeds, injector pressures continue to look right within band. Body rates controlling down the middle. Current altitude is 13 miles. Downrange distance 7 miles. Current velocity 1,965 miles per hour. Minus 15 seconds. Back and out of point pressures. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, liftoff. And you saw a Falcon 9 lift off in a beautifully clear shot there uh, at 4.14 p.m. Eastern. Uh, at T plus 10 seconds, the thrust vector control system tilted Falcon to begin a pitch kick maneuver to get it going sideways. You just heard that uh, we're going supersonic and we're about to go through max Q when the rocket's pushing hardest against the atmosphere. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. We've successfully achieved that major milestone of every rocket launch. Uh, we're actually decreasing the thrust in our engines a little bit around the time of max Q to minimize some of those forces. Coming up about uh, 50 seconds from now, Head back engine chill. Uh, there will be three events in quick succession. The main engines will cut off, the two stages will separate, and the second stage will start its Merlin vacuum engine, uh, which you heard is just beginning its own chill procedure.
cutoff happening just a few seconds from now. Terry's lifting off, going across the night sky, disappearing through some clouds quickly and coming quickly back into view. The first stage looking nominal or normal so far, lighting up the night sky there above Virginia, orbital ATK's and Terry's on its way. Getting good performance calls, the attitude, the orientation of the rocket looking normal. just passing through max Q, the maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's where uh, the forces of launch, the highest on the launch vehicle. First stage though, continuing to fire. It's gonna cut off about 215 seconds into the flight, or just a little over three minutes. Vehicle attitude is nominal. Flight tanks configured for flight. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll go. Power is 47 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 performing nominally. We're currently throttling down the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage, preparing for the period of maximum dynamic pressure and going supersonic. Falcon 9 is supersonic. You heard the call out, Falcon 9 is supersonic. 
We're throttling the Merlin 1D engines back up as we pass through the period of maximum Vehicle dynamic pressure. Maximum dynamic pressure. A minute and a half into flight, trajectory looks good for Falcon 9. We're seeing the view from a ground camera and obviously we're having uh, trouble with the autofocus, but Falcon 9 continues to track downrange well. Power on the Merlin 1D engines looks good and avionics power looks good. MVAC engine chill has begun. The MVAC engine chill call out indicates that we have opened the pre-valve. We're beginning to chill in the upper stage engine in preparation for ignition. Now the sequence of events coming up, at T plus 245, we will have main engine cutoff, we'll shut down the nine Merlin engines. The first stage will then separate, and we will light the second stage engine. So those activities coming up in just under 20 seconds from now. Throttling down the engines in preparation for Miko. Miko. Head back ignition. Stage one AFTS. We've had eight. successful shutdown and separation. Second stage engine has lit. Major activity coming up in about 14 seconds is separation of the payload fairing. Draft fairing separation confirmed. You can see three of the Iridium next satellites of the set of five. As I mentioned, the gray satellites mounted on top of that, but not visible from the camera. following a normal trajectory. Three and a half minutes into flight, we've heard the call out. The trajectory is nominal. The power on the upper stage engine is good. Stop. Stop. Stop.